Today, we are going to broil the perfect ribeye steak. We're gonna broil it in the oven. Yes, in the oven. I'm gonna show you just how to do it. So I'm Chef Don McMillan. I've been cooking for quite a long time, over six decades, cooked many, many steaks. I was trying to count the other day how many steaks I cooked, but I lost count when it got over to about maybe 100,000. But that's okay, because we're just gonna cook one steak today, and I'm gonna cook a ribeye steak. Look at that, beautiful ribeye steak, gorgeous marbling in there. It's gonna be ever so perfect, and it's gonna be all in the oven, yes. So, hit the like button, definitely wanna subscribe. Any comments about how you like to cook steaks in the oven or out, I'd love to share that information with you. Right now, in my oven, I have a cast iron pan. I've got it on broil. I set my rack about six inches, maybe seven, from the broiling on the top. So close the door, let that thing get hot for 15 minutes. So while that's happening, let's see what's happening to our steak. So here's my steak. I patted it dry with some paper toweling. So if you rinse your steak, okay, I'm not gonna say you can't, but go ahead and pat it dry before you season it. Now, because we're gonna put it in the pan in the oven, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Normally I put the olive oil in the pan, but if I did that, this place would be smoking and the fire department would be outside trying to get inside, okay? Not because they wanted a steak either. All right, so we're gonna season it just so simply. I have here kosher salt. Sea salt works perfectly as well. And I have here pepper, salt and pepper. Can it get any more easier than that? But any more better too, because look, pat that down. That's all you really need. Don't worry about putting too much salt. It'll be just enough when we finish cutting it up and serving it and tasting it. The salt is really gonna add so much flavor to this wonderful steak and the marbling that's in the ribeye steak, that is gonna make it so perfect as well. All right, a little bit of olive oil. Spread it around, a little bit on here. There we go. That's all we really need. And now we're getting ready to place this in the oven. All right, here we go. Into the hot pan. Listen to a sizzle. Yes, oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and close the oven. And we're gonna do it for about three minutes. All right, look, check it out, check it out. It's happening right now. Look at that. Look, can you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful sear. All right, back in the oven we go. All right, let's look at our steak. Oh, man. All right, we're checking the temperature. Perfectly cooked. Well, Andrew, there it is a broiled steak, and we broiled it right in our oven. So for those of you out there, we know grilling is when you cook underneath with the heat, and broiling is when you broil it on top. A lot of restaurants broil their steaks. You may that's think right. it's grilled, but most of them are broiled, but they can just put it in the broiler, keep an eye on it, and that's what we just did. We broiled this baby up, I'm telling you. That looks fantastic. It's that's been a long time since I've actually broiled a steak at home, yes. but after seeing it uh, today, I definitely want to try this next week and we did it in a cast iron pan we did and Absolutely. Mo so uh, most people have cast iron pans at home if not you should get one so uh, i just want to point out in, in the recipe it says uh, three minutes on each side depends on your broiler and the type of oven that you have it could possibly be two minutes on each side our broiler was two minutes on each side yes so, yes so just check it at two minutes and to see if the steak needs to be flipped at another two minutes and then take it out of the oven Right, and always use a thermometer. That's correct, that's right. Because the thermometer will give you the exact temperature. At 135 degrees will give you a beautiful medium rare, and anything right. higher than that, you can get up to a medium. And of course, those who like well done, 
Well, they know what to do. I think we should stop talking and just try to stay. <laughs> well, before before we do that, we can remind people that they definitely have to uh, hit that like button, put some comments down below, and subscribe. Because that's how you're going to get to see more of these videos, right? Now let's try to stay. Now we're going to try to stay. All right, so we're cutting it now beautifully. We did let it rest. I said that earlier. Look at that. Nice and pink in the center. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Very nice. Beautiful steak here. Oh my goodness. All right. Is that enough for you? That's plenty. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to get a piece too. All right. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. So can, <coughs> can you tell the difference between the steak broiled versus the one we just did? I mean, what's the difference between them? Well, mine is juicy. The steak is juicier, crispier on the outside. Mm -hmm. From the pan seared, mm. this cast iron pan was so hot and smoked a lot when you stick the steak in there. Yeah. Mm. But the steak is dynamite. Really, really good. Mm. Mm. It helps me to start with a good steak. Yeah. A nice, a nice thick ribeye. Mm. Mmm. Boy, you want to try some steak? I'll try it after we're off camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is up. Before you leave, remember, support us on Patreon. You really need your support. As well as, we're going to let you see the videos before anybody else gets to see right. them. Exclusive get... content, early mm -hmm. access, like he was saying, and no ads in the videos. That's right. And nothing but good eating. And they're always, our recipes are simple and absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Video.